My favorite local pop store is doing a signing today. So let's head over there and let's get a Funko Pop signed. All right guys, we made it to Pop Enough Toys. As you can tell, it is hot out here in Nashville, guys. Very, very hot, but we made it to Pop Enough Toys. Uh, we're here about an hour and a half after he's already started, so hopefully there's not too long of a line. We're gonna jump in there, guys, get our Funko Pops on, take a look at the store, see if there's anything else that we wanna pick up while we're here, guys. So I will update you once we get inside. All right, guys, we are in Pop Enough Toys. As you can see behind me, guys, that is my wife. It's, that's what we're getting the pop sign for, is her. She wants it done. But guys, we are going with the Scooby-Doo eating a sandwich Funko Pop. So yeah, it says it's the 50th anniversary of Scooby-Doo. So that's why we chose this one also. It's just the cutest one out there. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Which one is your favorite Scooby? This one is ours for I sure. Like she likes food. So this is our favorite Scooby, guys. We're going to get it signed, take a look at the store, see what else, if there's anything else we want at all. Let's take a look, guys. All right, everyone, here's some items that Scott Enos and his team brought for the signing. You did have some movie scripts right there. A lot of hats. My favorite one being the black one right here that says, Scooby-Doo, where are you? They did have some Funko Rewinds right there, as well as some Funko Pops. The exact same pot that me and my wife actually brought with us. Some die cast mystery machines, a couple of cups, and then a bunch of different artworks and some posters. My favorite one being the uh, movie poster right here for scooby-doo zombie island all right guys so we did already get our funko pop signed i did not get any video of uh, scott actually signing the pop i was not sure if he wanted to be on camera or not but we're going to take a look at what the store has this is their mid-range section so a lot of marvel right here guys i see that magneto down there coming up we have the nycc okoye i do believe that was nycc that's actually a really great pop from black panther Moving over into some Star Wars as well as some anime. I do see that Killer B chase right next to that Minato chase. Two very beautiful pops. And that Killer B is one that we actually looked at bringing home with us. Unfortunately, though, we did not. And here's the other section for mid-range. That entire top row being Harry Potter pops. And I love that Neville being carried by the Pixie. Moving on down here, there were some Disney Pops. I see Pixar as well. And then the shop actually has recently started selling like TCG games. So you do see Larkana right there. And then a bunch of sodas and some cooler bags. And then finally, y'all know that I cannot go to Pop It Off Toys without showing you the back wall, their growl wall. There's a sign to Soka up there, the Freddy Funko as Pennywise and the Freddy Funko as Georgie. I want to own that Pennywise one so bad one day, guys. It's such a beautiful pop. Moving over, you do see the Civil War 3-pack. That signed SpongeBob cooler is still there, guys. I don't know if that thing is ever going to move. It is so high value. It's crazy. That Kratos and Artarius 2-pack from Best Buy, a beautiful one. And then that Osiris is one that I really want for my personal collection. All right, everyone, we are back in the car. Hope you enjoyed the view of the store, guys. I only shut off the girl wall and some of the mid-girl pops. Didn't really want to go into all the comments. But we did show off everything that uh, Scott Eanes had for sale. But guys, we did get our Scooby-Doo sign. He even did a little doodle on the side. And we got a certificate of authenticity in the back, guys. We will take a better look at this once we get back to the studio. All right, we are back in the studio, guys. We are back from Popping Off Toys. And I am excited, so excited. So we got our Scooby-Doo signed by Scott Enos. Let's take it out of the protector so you can get a better look. Here it is, guys. Our Scooby-Doo Funko Pop number 625. It's the one with him holding a sandwich. It's the one from the 50th anniversary line. I love this one so much. We were debating between this one and the SDCC one from last year, I believe, the one in the scuba suit. Decided to go with this one because we thought this one looked better. There was a little bit less going on with this pop. And honestly, you can't go wrong with Scooby-Doo having a sandwich, guys. We did get the front row uh, autographed onto it, which is so amazing with Scott's signature. And then on the side right there, Scott did do a very cute little doodle of Scooby-Doo, guys. And then we actually got a Scott Enos certificate of authenticity saying that he signed this today at Poppin' Off Toys in Nashville, Tennessee, guys. 
I'm so excited to be adding this piece to our collection. It's going to go right next to our Yuji Itadori Funko Pop that we got signed by Adam McArthur a couple of months ago now, guys. If you want to see that video, I will leave that video in the description down below. Go check out that video. I think that was a, another amazing video. And if you want to see our autograph journey, guys, that is the video to start with. Guys, in the comment section down below, let me know. How do you feel about this pop? Would you have got it signed by Scott Enos? Was there anything at Poppin' Off Toys that I showed y'all that you would love to pick up for your own collection, guys? I would love to know. And as always, guys, if you are enjoying the content, if you're enjoying the video, make sure you go down below, leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel for future content, guys. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.